Hi guys, welcome to the Java class. In today's session, you will learn how to initialize and how to set the values to the instance variable like horsepower and type using a method. Here you can see the horsepower and the type are the instance variable which are present inside the engine class. So what is an instance variable? Instance variables are those variables which are the part of an object, which means each and every object of a class engine can take the different values for their instance variable. So here, if you will observe this program that we have done in the previous session. So if you have not watched the previous session videos, so please watch it first, then it is easy to understand this example. So here you can see the engine class has these two instance variable, horsepower and type. And the class car has contains two instance variable. The first one is the model and year. And in the test drive car, what we have done with the help of an object of engine, we have initialized and the we have set the values of their instance variable and similar for the car object. So what we would like to do in this time or in this session, we would like to initialize these values of the instance variable with the help of a method. So let us learn how to do it. So here, let me come to the engine class and I will add a method here. So I will add a method void set data. So I will use here void set data or I can write the void set engine data I can use. It will be good. So set engine data, this is a method. So using this method, I will initialize the values of the instance variable. So how will I add it? So I will just add two parameters here. The first one is the horsepower and the second one is the type of string. Here I will write the type. So I will use the T variable here, right? So this is the parameters. So these are the local variables, the string T which are present inside the method and these local variables which help us to set the values of the instance variable. Horsepower is equal HP here and you can write the type is equal the T here, right? So this is a method which will help us to set the values of their instance variable. So in the similar way inside a car, you can add a method like void set car data. So this is a car data method. Inside it, I will write the string M comma int y here right so now you can write the model model is equal the variable m and the year is equal here the y here right so this is the method we have used to set the values of the instance variable rest code is the same here so how to use this method inside the driver class to set the values of the instance variable. Let us, so you can see this class again, this is an engine class and this is a car class, right? Now come to the main driver class. Now no need to use these two lines, right? So I will just simply write my engine dot set engine data or I can provide the value of the horsepower. And the value of the horsepower you can provide like 250 and the type you can write in the form of integer that is v8 this is the engine type so now you can remove these two lines from this part and just use it now in the similar way you can provide this my car one dot set car data or you can provide the model. So what is your model? You can see this is the model is this code. You can pass this value here and the year is 2024. Now no need to write these two lines. 
because this method will help us to set or initialize the values of the instance variable for an object my car right you will just save it and you will run it here so you can see here the output is the same the engine type is v8 horsepower is 250 and for the car model is the ford mustang in year is the 2024 so you can see this is the driver class and we have set the values of the instance variable of both the classes that is engine and the car using the set engine data methods and the set car data method so this is the way to initialize and to set the values of their instance variable so now you can see here this is the engine class and here you can see these are the instance variable and hp and t the variable that is the local variables so these local variables has the scope limited with a within a block or these local variables are not accessible outside the class if you are thinking why we have used the different name here this is hp and here is the horsepower here is the string type and this is we have used the t here and this is the type of the engine here so you can use the same also right you can use the same name also but in that case if you will use the same name like horsepower and the type inside this method so in that case your instance variable name and the local variable name will be same and you have to just write here horsepower is equal horsepower and in those cases local variable will hide the instance variable and there will be a name conflict between the instance variable and the local variable and the value of the instance variable will be that zero in case of integer and null in case of string outside this set engine method so let me just show you the output if you will write here the horse power right horse power and if you will write here the type okay so here you will see the variable you will write the horsepower and you will write the type here right so now you can see here there is a name conflict problem between the local variable and the instance variable or let's see first the output and you will you will understand what will be the impact of it so here you can see the engine type is null the default value of this string it is taking and the horsepower is zero that is the default value for the integer so what is the reason behind it so due to the same name of the local variable and the instance variable in that case the local variable is hiding the instance variable and it will set to their default values and we will not be able to set the exact value for their instance variable and that is uh, that is uh, outside this method the value of the horsepower and the type will be the default values of their data types so that's why i will recommend you please do not use the same name here or if you will use the same name here right so you have to use the this keyword here this dot horsepower and this dot horsepower right so this is a reference variable which represents to the current instance variable of a class so if you will write this dot horsepower what is the meaning of it this variable is the instance variable and this is the local variable this dot type is the instance variable and this type is the local variable or in that case you will get the correct output here you can see if you will run it again so it will show the engine type is v8 and the horsepower is 250 so this is about the this keyword also and this keyword has multiple uses in java that i will discuss in the upcoming session so right now you can understand only what is the this keyword that this keyword is a reference variable which represents the current object of a class and which can resolve the problem of this name collision between the local variables and the instance variable so guys this is for the session this is the engine class you can see 
this is the car class you can see and this is the main drive class where we are accessing the complete data and we are trying to initialize and set the values for the instance variable so this is for the day and this is for the session thank you very much for watching videos in the next video we will come with the new topics bye bye for now good night